it's so cold today. Um, I'm just going to show you what I do to like. This is me totally looking after the birds. What I need to do at a fairly basic level on the day during the winter. So I'm going to go through everything that I do, and as you'll see, it's pretty simple and straightforward. So my birds are at the top of the garden, um, but the water's all down here. So first thing is I fill up a watering can. We try to. And that will do pretty much all of the water. Um, I'll sometimes have to refill it a bit for the fourth one. So I'll get this all totally filled up. And then we'll get it to go. Clean tap water. It's in the watering can. Um, I've got four sections of birds that need sorting on a daily basis at the moment. So first thing I'm going to do is take all of the waters out. They're probably about ready for food to be fair, but let's sort out. So these are the slot birds. So just empty that out there. Just the cocks in here. I'm going to take that one right out because we'll clean those out quickly in a minute. Garden needs a real good tidy up, but it's hard when it's not that light out. So that one's there. Hens and young birds. So they're all ready for food. And we'll try and show you them out and about as well. Get rid of that one. And then the last one. Here. And there's just four in here, these are spare. I need to do something with them really. So they're a bit in the way, but I wasn't sure whether I was bringing in cocks or hens when I was bringing birds in. So that's all the water's done. And now we'll clean out, I'll just use a simple scraper. There's the grip bowl which I'll replenish in a few minutes. I'm just going to clean these out. Okay, so, cleaning out is not rocket science. The boxes aren't too bad and because they're on grills. It keeps it nice and easy for me. But I'll just lift this up. Put it out of the way. Nest boxes, grills in, and trays is an absolute lifesaver. And then, the best, most of the time, um, in the aviary anyway, or in the boxes. So the floor doesn't even get too bad. As you can see, I've nearly done this one now. So I'll get this one sorted, and then I'll show you the next section. So the stock section's cleared. Put the food trough back down, ready, and then. They need some straw in because they have got nest bowls in. There's some in here, so there's three pairs that are properly paired, but the rest are all yearlings. And I found because I don't have electricity in here, um, I certainly think that's one of the reasons, the yearlings don't pair too early that well. Um, I do struggle to get them down in sort of November, December time. So they're all in there. They'll pick their own mates this year and then I can do a little bit more with them the following year if I decide to. But they're all looking good. So yeah, let's have a look at these other sections now. Again, nice and easy section to do. Just a few cocks in here, mainly on V perches. A few box perches just in the corner. So the main cleaning is just the floor. So again, get rid of the grits. Pull the food trough out. We just get stuck in with a scraper. Box patches aren't too bad, sometimes get a little bit messy. So, this gives a bit more light. And again, I'm 
really simple. And that's that section is about done. And then all I'll do is I'll put the food trough back in uh, and the grip pot back in, and then I'll show you what to do when we come to do the grip pots and stuff in a few minutes. Oh, I'm going to take too long. The loft is 18 foot long, um, about six meters. Get a bit organised, hit it hard, use v perches to keep your life simple. I'm really considering taking these out because they just cause me a bit of hassle. I've got loads more v perches. And then it'll just be scraping the floors pretty much every day then. So that's this one done. And we'll move on. So because this end section's only got four birds in, there's not really too much to clean. So I shall just um, scrape the tops, top of that box there. Um, and maybe on that one as well. And that's it for today. The water's already been emptied. So I'm just gonna do that. And then we'll move on to the last section, which have got a little bit more to do on. So the final section is in here. Um, at the minute, I've got that door on. And I've got this sort of half door that just slots in there at the minute, but that's gonna be my trap in the future. So that will pull across there. I'm gonna cut some wire out of here and the birds will trap through there because this is all gonna be built up. Um, but at the minute they come through the normal traps which you've seen on other videos so I'm going to remove this door and then I'll let the birds out quickly clean them out while they're out feed all the others um, and then I'll get them in in another sort of half hour to 40 minutes or so small gap there but we want a bit of a bigger gap so a bit fiddly but that should oh gosh should lift out there we go so we lift that out, so we've got a full space there now. And then the birds are pretty used to this routine, so hopefully they should work out that it's uh, it's time for a bit of exercise. There we go. Just one to come. That's it. There we go. So right, we'll get these cleaned out quickly. So first thing is take the troughs out. Grip pot again, and this is the one that's a pain because it's got so many box perches in. And it's not, not a nightmare, not compared to what some people have. But you just take that a little bit extra time. I'll sometimes put a bucket underneath to catch the drop-ins. Um, but I'm holding the phone at the moment, so it's a bit tough. But I'll get this finished, because I don't really want to be seeing any more of this. And then once it comes to me getting the waters in, I'll bring back uh, what we're doing. Okay, so clean out that one's all done. Now, I want to make it as easy as possible for ourselves. So get all the waters that need to be done. So we've got one in there and one in there. And if I position them correctly, I can fill them from the outside. So this one though, I can't. So this is back into the stock section. Like so, with the grid next to it. And then I've got this one here to be filled, but this one will be filled last because this is the one where the birds are currently out. So leave that to last and escape in. Right, so um, if we get the watering can. Fill that one from the outside. do there that one needs repositioning do the one in the cocks that's that one done 
and I will fill this one up now just because I'm here and it's ready to go. So then the three sections that are totally done and the birds are all still in, we'll feed them up in a second. And all I need to do then is put water in for the last one. So that will go down there, read it. And then I use this trough over here, just for a couple of minutes because a, the trough in here is a little bit small, so if I can give them access to two, it's easier. Okay, so we've got waters in one, two, three, feeding troughs are in for those three. These birds are currently out, so I'm just gonna get the water for these ones now in that end section. So I'll be back in a second uh, once I get the food. So just getting all the food ready now. Again, dead simple. They don't need too much at the moment. They're not doing too much. So I've got several different little bowls and containers and things like that. Uh, so do this one for the ones in the end section two handfuls for them so that's that one done and then the one with the cocks in the six cocks two four six just different mixes in each one nothing nothing special um, and then in the stock section 16 two four six eight ten twelve 14, 16. So I'll go and feed those up now. And then we'll put the grits in and then three sections will be totally done. So it doesn't take that long if you've got a system. So this is for the end ones. Feed the cocks now. Okay. And then I just need two hands here, so this might be a little bit tricky. three sections are all fed and then what I do is on nice days where it's not too damp I'll freshen up the grit which is just kept in this yellow tub here so they can have one these don't need a lot there's only a few in there and get this one ready. A few more birds in there, so give them a bit more. And then these ones need literally a tiny amount. Just four birds. They will get happy. Okay, so that's those three sections totally done. And then what I do is once that trough's cleaned and they've and all that, that trough will move back into there. I'll put the food in and then I shall get the, uh, the other birds in, which you've seen before on my other videos. Please hit subscribe, be great for you to track the progress on what's going on through the winter and it will get much more exciting as we hit January and February with some babies in the nest.